We've all heard the saying, the sun will come out tomorrow. And if the song from Annie just popped into your head, you are not alone. But let's face it, the sun coming out tomorrow may not always feel like a guarantee. Life can be unpredictable and even chaotic, and sometimes it feels like the sun may never shine again. But even in the midst of our darkest days, there's always hope, keyword hope, that tomorrow will be a brighter day. So while we can't necessarily guarantee that the sun will come out tomorrow, we can hold on to the hope and believe that it probably will. It's important to acknowledge that life is full of ups and downs and there will be moments when it feels like the darkness will never lift. During these difficult times, it can be easy to lose sight of the light at the end of the tunnel and to fall into despair. That being said, it's so important to remember that hope is a powerful force that can help us navigate even the most difficult of times. When we have hope, we can find the strength to keep moving forward, even when everything around us feels overwhelming. We can hold on to the belief that there is a brighter tomorrow waiting for us as soon as the sun comes up, and that our current situations, our current struggles, well, they're just temporary. Sometimes it's hard to keep that in mind, though, isn't it? Of course, having hope doesn't mean that everything will magically get better overnight. It takes time, it takes effort, and sometimes even professional help to overcome some challenges and move towards a better future. But with hope, we can stay motivated and continue to work towards a brighter tomorrow. So while the sun may not always come out tomorrow, metaphorically, We can choose to hold on to the idea and believe that it will. When we do this, we can weather life's storms and come out the other side stronger, more resilient. But this hope, this idea of the sun coming up, what aisle in the emotional grocery store is this hope located? Because I sometimes need to find it. Well, let's find out. As we look to the sky with our sunglasses on, ready to embrace the dawn of a new day and all the hope it may bring. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's comment down in three, two, one. Fun question. Would you rather have a magic talking unicorn? as your personal life coach who gives you daily pep talks, or have a group of enthusiastic penguins follow you around everywhere you go, cheering you on and giving you high fives whenever you needed a pick-me-up. I know it sounds fun, right? Both sound amazing. And while I would take either one, I'm not sure if they're as available as the ideas I'm about to share with you. Though I will say my tips might be a little easier to come by, if I'm going to be honest. But today's word is hope. Where do we find this hope? The keep me going another day kind of hope. For me personally, even though I still love the idea of the penguins following me around, I'd like to share some of my favorite ways to open this umbrella of hope during the rain as we wait for tomorrow's sun. Now, there are many ways to find hope, and what works best for one person may not always work for another, but these are just a few suggestions that may help to cultivate your hope. And as usual, I highly suggest that you write these down. You don't have to try them all at once, but having a list to go through and then try them on different days well, it might be worth your time and energy, and you might finally land on the one that works best for you. First things first, find the connection. When we're going through tough times, it's natural to feel like we're all alone in our struggles. However, connecting with others can really help us feel 
less isolated, right? It can give us a sense of hope. It's like they say, a problem shared is a problem halved. I'm going to say that again because I love that. A problem shared is a problem halved. Support groups and even online communities it can be a great way to find people who understand what you're going through. These groups offer a space to share our stories, to listen to others, and get advice from people who've been there, who've been in similar situations way before we have. It's also comforting to know that we're not alone, that others are there to just hold our hand during this, right? And talking to a friend or someone in your family, this can be really important when we're struggling. Sometimes we might feel like we don't want to be a burden to others with our problems. I'm definitely that person. I always feel like I'm burdening someone. But what I've learned is that that someone or those people, they don't see it that way. You'd be surprised how many people in your circle actually want to hear what you're going through. Talk to someone. Even just having someone to listen can be a tremendous source of comfort. And even if they just sit there, just getting these words out, emptying your chest of what you're carrying around, it just gives us a sense of belonging, right? That someone is actually listening to us. And when we feel like we're part of this, when we feel like someone is listening, or when we feel like we're a part of a community, we're likely to feel hopeful. Not only about our tomorrow, but the future in general. So if your skies are constantly full of rainy clouds, and there seems to be no sun in the forecast, don't be afraid to reach out connect with someone. It's the first step towards finding hope and feeling less alone in what you're going through. Second, finding hope in nature. Oh, I love this one, to be honest. Have you ever felt like you just needed to escape from the hustle and the bustle of everyday life and find some peace and quiet? Yes, we all have. One of the best ways to do that is by spending some time in nature. I know, something so simple, but it can be so healing, so incredibly restorative. When you are out in nature, you connect with your surroundings and feel more grounded and connected to something greater than yourself. It's a wonderful way to gain perspective and remind yourself that there's more to life than just your daily routine, right? How often do we forget that? But let's also not forget the beauty of nature. Whether it's a breathtaking mountain view or a gorgeous sunset or even just the sound of birds chirping in the morning, nature has this amazing power to inspire hope and awe within us. It reminds us that there is always beauty and goodness in the world. And the amazing thing is, it's always there, just waiting to be experienced. When we spend time in nature, this has been shown to have numerous physical and mental health benefits. It can reduce stress levels, obviously, this boosts your immune system and even improves your mood and cognitive function. It's amazing what a little fresh air and sunshine can do for your overall well being, even just a few minutes a day. So if you're looking for hope, look no further than outside your door, right? The next time you're feeling overwhelmed or just need a break, consider taking a walk in the park or going on a hike in the woods. Or maybe you live near a coast, just taking a walk by the beach. You might just find a little time in nature is exactly what you need to feel more grounded, more inspired, and, of course more hopeful. And then finally, finding hope in spirituality. This is one that is often mm, untouched, as it is definitely different for everyone, and everybody has their own perspective on spirituality. 
In spirituality, it can actually mean different things to different people, but at its core, it involves connecting with something greater than ourselves. For some, this might mean connecting with a higher power or divine force, while for others, it might involve finding a sense of inner peace or inner purpose. And while I have my own path that I personally follow, I invite you to explore and discover what spirituality means to you. I have found during times of difficulty or uncertainty, spirituality can offer a sense of hope, can offer comfort, whether it's through prayer or meditation or attending religious services, engaging in spiritual practices can help us feel more connected supported. I think one of the most powerful aspects of spirituality is its ability to provide a framework for understanding and making sense of the world around us, which is so hard to do, right? When we face challenging situations, it can be difficult to make sense of what's happening and finding meanings in our experiences of life. But when we turn to our spiritual beliefs, when we turn to our spiritual practices, we can often find a sense of clarity and purpose that helps us navigate those challenges more effectively. And another important aspect of spirituality is the element of community that it can provide. Being part of a spiritual community can help us feel less alone in our struggles and provide us with support and with encouragement, even just by being around the others in your group. Whether we're attending church, or a mosque, or a temple, or even connecting with other spiritual seekers online, having a community of like-minded people who share our beliefs and values can be incredibly valuable, can be incredibly encouraging. So finding hope in spirituality is something that many of us can relate to, regardless of our specific beliefs or practices. Whether we're seeking guidance or comfort or connection, when we turn our focus, this can help us find the strength and resilience that we need to overcome life's challenges. As much as we try to take control of our lives and we try to plan for the future, there are just some things out of our control. And the weather is one of those things, waiting for the sun to come tomorrow. We can check the forecast, but we really never know what the day will bring. Some days we wake up to blue skies and sunshine, while other days we wake up to rain and gloom, especially if you live in certain areas. It's a reminder that life is unpredictable. It is, and we can't always control the outcome. But even on the darkest days, we hold on to the hope that tomorrow is going to be better. We look forward to the possibility of a new day, of a fresh start and a chance to make things right. We believe that the sun will come out tomorrow, even if it's just a glimmer of light through the clouds. But this belief in the sun coming out tomorrow is just not about the weather. It's a metaphor for life. It represents the hope that we hold on to in the midst of chaos and in the midst of uncertainty. It's a reminder, no matter how difficult things may be, there will always be a chance for things to get better. There will be. We may not know when or how, but we trust that it will, that it will be. So while I can't guarantee that the sun will come out tomorrow, I wish I could, we can choose to believe and the possibility. We can hold on to the hope and trust that even in the midst of our darkest days, there's always a chance for the sun to shine again. And it's a reminder that life is full of ups and downs. That's okay. It's what makes it beautiful. It's what makes it unpredictable. It's what makes us look with huge anticipation for the sun after rainy days. When we embrace this uncertainty, this uncertainty of life and trust that the sun will come out tomorrow, it can help us stay optimistic. It can help us stay motivated in what we put our hands to. 
It can give us the courage to keep going, even when things get tough. This is a beautiful reminder that we are capable of overcoming challenges and that our struggles, well, they're just temporary. Now, of course, believing in the sun coming out tomorrow doesn't mean that we ignore our problems or that we pretend that everything is okay. It just means that we approach life with a more positive outlook and a willingness to face whatever comes our way. It means that we take things one day at a time and that we trust that things will work out in the end. And while we can't guarantee that the sun will come out tomorrow, we can choose to believe that it's going to. But at the end, at the end of the day, ultimately, it's our individual choice on how we view life, how we approach life, how we view tomorrow. We can either allow ourselves to be consumed by uncertainty or the unknown or fear, or we can choose to face life with hope, with anticipation of something good coming the next day. When we adopt this positive outlook and when we believe in the potential for a brighter tomorrow, we begin to create a more fulfilling life, not just for ourselves, but also for those around us, which all goes back to the idea of being around people that support you, just as you support them. But the power to shape our own lives and, and the world around us, this lies within our choices, right? And we have the ability to choose. We have the ability to go this direction. Stay present for it. Expect the sun to be there tomorrow, as it always has. Embrace the hope as we navigate the ups and downs in life strive towards a better tomorrow, a brighter tomorrow. Because as you already know, the sun will come out tomorrow. Definitely. For more episodes, concert dates, or to send me some delicious chocolate chip cookies, visit gometdownpodcast.com. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. Now, before we part ways, I want to remind you that the views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and not intended to serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnoses rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Please seek the advice of a licensed physician or therapist for any medical or emotional concerns. I'm not a licensed therapist or physician, but I am an empath by nature, and I hope this and future podcast episodes can aid your emotional needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, visit commentdownpodcast.com. And if you enjoy this podcast and want to support the time, the person involved, and content you hear each week, please consider pitching in 2 or $3 a month. Your contribution will help keep this podcast ad-free. Visit commentdownpodcast.com, look for the white coffee cup with a heart in the center, or scan the QR code at the bottom of the page. Again, commentdownpodcast.com. Remember, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we comment down. <laughs>